Well, I don't care about that. Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Okay, good. See what we have here. Intel Sat, I'm still watching for a potential meaner version trade. I would love to see an undercut of yesterday's lows, but we're probably not gonna see that. Uh, I mean, if there's a good tight intraday setup, I may trade it, but I'm not gonna watch it out of the gate. Uh, the, the, the Singa is still building higher lows, decent estimates for next year, and decent growth. LK. I'm thinking about buying it over uh, the earnings day highs. It's capping up a little bit because China is capping up. <laughs> we'll see. If I buy it or not. VLO is still setting up. I think it needs a few more days. I think next week. AYX is building higher lows. Hard to know if it's a bear flag or if this is or if it's bottoming. It rests on support on the weekly chart. The weekly chart it rests on some rising support, so I don't think it's necessarily bear flagging. It's very tight, so this is something I I don't know, I'm probably not gonna trade it. SC is gapping up a little bit. This is the one I got shaken out on earnings. Uh, there's rumors, that, or not rumors, they said in, the, in, in their filing that they're gonna buy another company. Uh, so that's why they raised money. They didn't really need the money. They already have, I think, a couple of billion. Yeah, they have $2.3 billion on cash already and they raised another billion. So they're gonna, so that, that's, a, that's a good kind of offering. That's an offering into strength. Uh, but I got shaken out, so for me, it doesn't matter. Uh, no exciting earnings for me. Chasey Penny, this is the one that broke out a few days ago. I passed on it because I was in a lot of other shit. I owned it about a month ago. 
it got shaken out on this day here and now it's capping up on earnings shitty earnings but it's capping up JD this is I'm long this one capping up about 6% or 5% it's also my largest position so that's a good thing to see and it's just coming out of a long range I think this thing goes to 50 uh, so it's a hold I'm not gonna sell I'm not gonna add Nvidia is kind of break even on earnings doesn't have great estimates or anything it looks just like this Soxel ETF pretty much Soxel is a more explosive mover AMAT is capping up so semis are strong and then there's some random stocks I don't even care about let's look at current position HRX I'm down 30,000 on it <laughs> They got a three month extension or something like that. They were supposed to have a Pidoof on Monday. So my thesis was uh, they may squeeze it into Friday, into today, and I'll sell it today. Maybe get it to three bucks, but instead I I got 150. <laughs> uh, so that sucks. Just um, I saw a lot of shorts on Twitter and I think, you know, I thought, you know, the price is going higher, so a lot of these guys may panic cover, but instead the news flow was not in my favor. Uh, so I still have made sure in my position I'm gonna use that 151 as my stop. The rising 20 day, I'm gonna raise it even more, 152. I sold a few after hours yesterday in 170 area and uh, about, uh, yeah, some. So a total I'm, I'm down about 30k little bit less right now. If it goes to 152, I'll be down 30k. Uh, F cell gapping down a little bit, still holding about my stop. BLDP, I sold some pre-market, it's up 10% from my entry. RLGY holding up well. DDoG is just flagging on the 60 minute chart, it's building higher lows. JD obviously gapping up on earnings. BABA, it's a little bit weaker than JD. Overall, Facebook looks decent. DXCM looks good. OLED, just going sideways after earnings move. Same thing by PHI, TDOC, Apps is great. PBR, I sized down a little bit yesterday. It's just resting on the rising 20 day. Let's see if we can bounce here. ENDP is still low. It's Building lower highs, MNK, same thing here, you can see it, lower highs all the way. And TY is the strong one out of the opioid stocks. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm probably not gonna add to any swings. ACSD and MTMB are gapping, or ACSD is not gapping up anymore, or maybe a little bit. These are up on the AMRN approval. Uh, EMRN had a big run up into this. It's up 60% from the lows a couple of months ago. I don't know if it's gonna sell the if this is a sell the news kind of scenario or if it's actually gonna go higher. I don't. For me personally, I don't see an edge here. Um, maybe if it goes up strongly today, then on Monday I may see it as a mean reversion setup. But yeah, let's see how things open up.
LK is gapping up a little bit. I may do a few open range highs with a very tight stop. Intelsat is so far bouncing a little bit. I'm not in it. Lower type of a mover. EMRN is sell the news so far. This AIHS is pretty decent volume. LK, I bought 20,000 shares, got a little bit of slippage unfortunately, actually pretty damn decent slippage, uh, but I'm long 22.19 average, I had a stop set at 22.02, so it's 17 cents slippage, that is just, that just sucks, uh, but you know, it is what it is, I bought 20,000 shares and uh, you know, it either, either it goes or it doesn't, so I'm gonna use the lows as my stop. No shit, I fat fingered it. Oh. oh, I accidentally sold it, break even. Let's see if I can get back in at the same price. Oh, fuck. Finger to trade. Uh, I, I, I'm in back half size so far. Fuck, that's annoying. MU shook me out and I was going higher. Held the rising or kind of sideways going um, 20 day moving average. Yeah, the semiconductor stocks are pretty strong, but MU was just the weakest of them all. Vips is having a nice day. Breaking out of its, its little bull flag. They had earnings a couple of days ago. Kind of boring earnings. Nothing. It's not a growth name anymore. It was an enormous growth name like four or five years ago. All right. HRX is bouncing so far, so now I'm gonna use the lows of the day as my stop. Let's see if we can minimize this loss. Nvidia is red on the day.
EMRN is so far below VWAP. Uh, if it faces VWAP, that could be a day trading setup. This, that would be a setup where you can risk like, I don't know, 15, 20 cents to make, I don't know, a dollar. And if you're willing to swing it, even maybe more than maybe two, three dollars. But again, it's not for me yet. But for you day traders, that could be a decent risk reward setup. BLDP looks great, JD looks great, LK, uh, okay, I'm in full size again, same same average as I had before, and it's gonna stop me out. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. D dog looks great from my earnings day entry. Breaking out the new highs and it's just exploding higher. Great sign. Um, Okay, FCL is bouncing off the rising uh, support on the 60 minute chart. That's a good sign. It also happens to be this declining 150 day moving average. It's bouncing off both those levels on different time frames. That's good. trading Yeah, I got. Uh, I didn't get triggered on my stop, even though it traded 2197. So I'm still in it from 2219 average from my second entry. Uh, click at some. It's another semiconductor related name. This thing has never made a big move, so.
now LK alerts came in. AIHS has an enormous volume. You know, Chasey Penny, I'm a little bit tempted in case it breaks opening range highs. Because you could literally risk like four cents or something. And you know, if this thing starts squeezing, it may really start squeezing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't know. What's the risk here? This is an enormously beaten down. Yes, the earnings look shit and they may go bankrupt, but take. It is kind of just coming out of this uh, multi month bull flag. Ideal entry was in the like one, you know, sub, sub 115 a couple of days ago, but. Uh, AMAT. Mm. Yeah. So AMRN couldn't even bounce to, back to the VWAP. That's a sign of weakness so far. Uh, guys, do you have any questions? I'm gonna cut the stream uh, uh, in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So if you have any. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the Twitch app. How do I get out of this? Uh, oh, control tab. Okay. Oh, I found the shortcut for the Twitch app. Nice. So I click here. What do I see? I see stream started. Zero viewers. Well, that's not correct. Uh, stream title doesn't say anything. Game, well, it's the game is the stock market. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, what is this? Huh, look at that. Hmm. I'm gonna play around with this thing when I have more time. Interesting. Every day I learn something new about Twitch. Holy shit, there's a lot of people. HRX is starting to reach some uh, resistance areas. I'm gonna size down uh, a little bit here. I size down a little bit of HRX. Locked in a little bit more of a loss. Right now I'm overall down on it. I was down uh, about 30, now I'm, I'm down maybe 20, thanks to this bounce. At the lows yesterday, I didn't see it, but I was down like 40 maybe, at the 160s. No, not sorry, 160s, I don't even know what, what, where it was uh, after hours. I think it was in the 140s even. Uh, but again, I, I saw it when it had bounced, so that was good. That I didn't sell any near the lows. Mm -hmm. 
Amazon. LK is just taking out this IPO range. This is a range, you can draw the line over here, you know, it's been a pretty long range, or a pretty big channel, so to say. Not a lot of ETFs up today. Wow. Only Nasdaq pretty much. Hmm. Not often you see that. JD is so far selling off from earnings, which is fine. Um, as long as it stays above its um, support areas. D dog, what's my entry on T dog? Thirty nine fifty two. Uh, so I'm up about seven percent on D dog. I should probably sell a few. Tiny, 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 tiny. LK is kind of flagging intraday it had a pop pull back and now it's kind of flying uh, flagging but i'm probably gonna I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass on it but for you day traders there is definitely something here uh i, I intel set i mean uh okay let's see here so you know you could like buy it here 1306 risk to like 1270 or something risk like 35 40 cents and you know if this thing bounces could easily bounce another dollar dollar fifty PDF NPC. Yeah, I think the refiners next week uh, may be an interesting trade. Fuel cell is fading back a little bit. Um, hmm. Question is if I will move my stop higher or if I'll keep it. I'll keep it for now. Other than that, not a lot of things going. Okay, Chasey Pin uh, Penny failed, or not failed, faded back a little bit more. AMRN building lower highs intraday. Plug is still very strong after yesterday's little pullback day and this was a perfect day trading setup for you day traders it was up one two three four five days in a row and on the fifth day it gapped up and took out opening range lows and faded that's a perfect day trading setup perfect
Am I dead? No, I'm still alive. Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, go away, people. Go away. This is my spot. Oh, for fuck's sake, go away! Okay, now people. Ooh. Okay, now there's gonna be some action here. Gotcha. Seriously? Fucking go away, people.
Yeah, good. Go away. Be gone. Oh, this guy is so dead. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Where are you? Where did you go? Where did this guy go? Oh, here he is. Oh, I fucking found him. Oh, shit, there's two of them. See you, and you are gonna be so dead. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna get some honor at least. Nvidia is now breaking below the base, it's just resting on a rising 20 day, I'm taking off this watch list. <clears throat> uh, L uh, LK is going higher again, I'm still in it. Very lucky that my stop didn't trigger even though it hit the 2197 area. Uh, Intel sat, you know, this is what I was talking about. Takes out this 1306 or whatever it was with 1270 stop and now it's going. It's building higher lows so far intraday. So oh, I hope you day traders took the setup. For a day trader, there's money making opportunities almost every single day, or I would say every single day. But for someone like me, not even every single week. F cell is weakening a little bit, HRX is weakening a little bit. Click faded. AMRN, let's see if we can bounce to the VWAP. It did put in a higher low. Uh, so I don't know.
Okay, one more, last scan and then I'm gonna cut the stream. Shippers are shaping up again. RDNT, did they have earnings? It's a very thin name, but... Uh, taking out new highs, yep. Uh, okay. Chile is higher today, obviously, after being down for a few months. Small caps are just flagging. They had a big run in October, not a big run, but a decent run in October. Took out this range and now they're just flagging above the range break. Question is, are we gonna go higher or are we gonna go back into the range? That's the big question. Oh, there is someone here. I see you. I know you're somewhere here. I know you're somewhere here. I know you're somewhere here. Here you are. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Ha. This guy is going to die. Don't go. Oh, 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 oh. Come back, come back. All right, guys, thank you for joining today. I hope you have a great trading day and a great weekend. I will see you on Monday.